Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. First of all, if you are watching this today, it is being put out. Happy Easter to you. I hope you had a great one. I also wanted to thank all of you that came out to my estate sterling sale yesterday. We did completely sell out. I will be having another one next weekend on whatnot. So if you missed it, there is still plenty of amazing estate sterling silver pieces left. So go ahead, head over there and bookmark that. Several of you asked me to do lamps and I told you for the next four weeks, we are going to do $500 as our highest price point. So today we are going to do lamps. I will tell you though, when you get to that $500 price point, there are a lot. So pretty much everyone I'm going to show you today is worth right at that $500 mark plus shipping in most cases. So pretty good mark that you might be able to find these. There's not to find these. They are not totally unattainable and really, really rare like some of those higher dollar ones. So let's go ahead and get started. particular order. As I said, they are pretty much all worth $500. Once you get into the lower dollar brackets, you will find a lot at like $500, $400, $300, etc. So it's really, really hard to do a video. So I picked my top 20 that are selling at 500, trying to give you some different looks and styles as well as names and designers. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up is this handle lamp and whaley antique leaded stained glass shade, Bradley Tiffany era. This one sold for $500. Beautiful, beautiful lamp. And here you can see beautiful different tones of orange there as well as the yellow. It does have the double lights inside. And here you can see a little bit closer up of the detail and with that shade off and beautiful flower arrangement here. And this one was a great sale, $500. It is by Handle Lamp and it is a Whaley shade. Next is a McKinsey Child's Table Lamp. It does say any over fee for shipping will be refunded. That is because shipping on this stuff typically is pretty high. So they're just letting the buyer know that they will refund the difference. This one sold for $495. And here you can see some detail, the polka dots, as well as that checkerboard McKenzie Childs is known for, as well as the black and white stripes. Beautiful, beautiful lamp. And this one was a $500 sale. I do not see where they are showing this one is marked. I know most McKenzie Childs pieces are, but definitely keep your eye out for this style, that checkerboard, as well as the black and white stripes. Next is a beautiful Capa di Monte Dancing Girls Porcelain Lamp Gold Gilt Filigree Shade and Prisms. They did put Fancy. This one sold for $499. And they also paid $132.50 in shipping. I did pull this out a little bit so you guys can see that shipping fee. And here we'll take a look at this Capa di Monte Lamp. This one is really, really neat. And here you can see this one was actually a four-way light bulb there. Here is the bottom, some detail on the girls as well as closer up on the shades. And this one looks to be in very, very good condition. So keep your eye out for Capa di Monte. I would recommend looking up these pieces if you find them and try to find something very, very similar. Next is this Vintage Hurricane Table Lamp, Gone with the Wind, hand-painted floral, 22 inches tall. This one sold for $500, $499. They do have free local pickup if someone is close or $138.55 in shipping. 
So people are going to expect to pay quite a bit for shipping on these lamps. This one is a beautiful hand painted. And here you can see that hurricane and hurricane lamp shade inside, sorry. And here is the bottom. And this one was a great, great sale. These again, I think the style that they are painted in is definitely going to make a difference and how well that is done. Up next is this vintage mid-century 1970s chalkware Elvis Presley. This is a bus statue lamp. Pretty cool. This one sold for $485 plus $155 in shipping. And here you can see it turned on. This is a really, really tall shade on this one. And there is that Elvis up close as well as from the side. Beautiful, beautiful lace trimmed shade on this one. They do show it without the shade. So this one says A and B Statuary Corp. It is from 1977. So this one was signed. They didn't put the name of that maker on this, but this one was a great sale at $485. Next is an antique hand painted oil lamp chandelier parlor. It is John Scott Electric. It does have a canopy as well. This one sold for a best offer on $499 as well as $145 in shipping. And we will take a look. So here you can see on that knob, it does say made in England and it does say duplex as well there. So you definitely want to pay attention if you're seeing writing on them. This one I think would be a bear to ship for sure, as well as to hang and display. But a lot of people sell quite a bit of lamps. So definitely it is workable to make it happen if you would like to do that. Gorgeous, gorgeous lamp here. And you can see again with these higher dollar, they do show quite a few. And this one was a great sale at a best offer on $500. Next is this Jefferson reverse painted shade table lamp. Countryside scene, they did put perfect condition. This one was an auction. They got two bids. I'm going to assume the same bidder. They both it were $500 bids plus $150 in shipping. This one definitely would have caught my eye. Really, really cool reverse painted shade. I do well with reverse painted items. Here you can see the base of that lamp as well. And this one was a great sale. I'm thinking they were probably hoping for more than 500, but you should always start your auctions at the lowest amount you're willing to take. And this one sold for $500. Next is an L&L &L WMC. This is a 1970 Hollywood Regency Brass Crystal Prisms Waterfall Table Lamp. This one is so neat. This one sold for a best offer on $500 as well as $156 in shipping. And here you can see super cool with these waterfalls and the lights there. This one is another one I think definitely would have caught my eye. I actually just picked up a wicker mushroom lamp at the thrift store this week. So I'm going to attempt to start selling some lamps and see how I do with them. And here again, you can see it on the table as well as the bottom. You do want to show these lamps lit up for sure to show that they work. And this one was a great sale at $500. Next is a pair of antique Art Deco crystal candelabra table banquet candle prisms feathers. So these are actually candle holders. I have sold some very similar to these. These sold for a best offer on $464.75. Plus the buyer paid close to $200 in shipping on these. And these are absolutely beautiful. You can see them there on the dining room table. I do prefer these solid backgrounds like this because you can actually see the lamp a little bit better. It doesn't detract away from it. Gorgeous, gorgeous candelabras. So not even anything to show plugged in and working on this one. 
and it was a pair of them and this was a great sale best offer on four hundred and sixty four dollars all right I don't know about you, but I think these these lamps are ugly. <laughs> you can tell me what you think. This is Italian Blanc de Chine lamp, 1950 Majolica, fruit topiary pottery. It does say four-way table lamps. They sold for a best offer on $499 and $166 in shipping. These did not have the shades, so you can sell them with and without the shades. The couple that I have sold with the shades, what I have done is ship the shade separately from the lamp and just ship them in two boxes is what we did when we sold ours. These have beautiful, beautiful finials on them. Watch for finials as well because you can sell lamp finials by themselves. So here you can see these guys up close. You can see that they are working. Here's a little bit closer of that Majolica. And this one was a great sale. They are definitely working. You can see here and they sold for $499. Next is a pair of Lottie Gunnar Boslin Mid-Century Modern Table Lamps. It does say OG Shade. This one was another auction. It was another auction with only one bid for $495 plus $175 in shipping. Here you can see these up close. They almost look like a woven kind of hemp cord around the shades. And they did say they are the original shades. Here you can see a picture of the base and the lamps. They do not show these working, but I will assume that they do. And great sale, again, an auction with only one bid sold for $495. Next is a vintage Hollywood Regency marble tabletop floor lamp. So definitely keep your eye out for floor lamps. This one does not have the shade. This one sold for $295 plus $377 in shipping. So quite a bit, but this is a really, really big lamp. Here you can see it does have that marble table. The base is very, very detailed on this one. They do show another zoomed in with the table as well. And here you can see the top with that light. And again, this one does not have a shade. They are showing close up of the base as well. And great sale. It does say condition because it's condition consistent with age and history lamp has been painted so if you notice that you definitely want to point that out and this again is the shipping is more than the lamp so people i believe if they are buying lamps online will expect to be paying quite a bit for shipping up next is this mid-century modern solid sculptural walnut floor lamp so another floor lamp with a table this one is really really neat this one sold for 499 dollars plus 180 in shipping and here you can see they have they have their paper it looks like outside on the porch great light you guys natural light is the best light and here you can see the walnut is in excellent, excellent condition as well as the brass. And they are showing quite a few. There is a flaw here that you can see. And this one was a great sale at $499. A little. Up next is a vintage large Miller Lamp Co. It does say Tiffany style, stained glass lamp, arts and crafts, with owl faces. This one sold for a best offer on $379. The shipping on this one was $303. So when I sorted these, I did sort them from highest to lowest, including shipping. So we are seeing some on a little bit lower sale price, but the shipping was very high on them. And here, I'm not seeing owl faces. You guys can let me know if you I guess here maybe owl faces. I feel like that might be a little more floral, but 
maybe it's just me. Here you can see the base of this one. This one does have dual lights as well. They do show that finial up close. Here is the marking on this one. The ML Co is for Miller Lamp Co. And that is how they identified it. And a great sale with the best offer on $379. Next, this one is pretty cool. This is a vintage GL day, three arm articulated industrial workshop, domestic floor lamp. I did wanna give you guys some different looks here. And this one's really neat. It sold for US $498, as well as $202 in shipping from the UK. Here you can see this lamp, really, really neat lamp. It can be used there straight as well as bent. They are zooming in and showing it close up. This is a type of lamp I definitely would pay attention to. And here you can see the bulb. They do, again, show it working. Very, very few of these have not showed them. Now, there are a couple of dents here in the lamp, so you definitely want to show any defects. So buyers are aware here. You can see it all the way condensed down. And this one was a great sale from the UK, but it sold for $498. I actually have a lamp very, very similar to this on my nightstand that Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady picked up for me. I don't think mine is a galet. Mine is a reproduction, but it is absolutely beautiful. And mine has dragonflies as well. Jocelyn knew I like dragonflies and picked it up on auction for me. And I think I paid close to $200 for mine, but I don't think it was an actual galet. So this one sold for $4.99. The seller's name is Jiang Galet. So this person might specialize in galet lamps. They actually had two available. One of them has sold for that $4.99. Look at these dragonflies on top. Super, super cool. Here you can see the signature. And... Look at the butterfly on the base of this one. Really, really pretty lamp. And this one was an excellent, excellent sale at $499. Next is this antique hand-painted kerosene lamp. It does say John Scott as is floral glass shade. This one sold for $499 plus $273 in shipping. Looks like there are some cherubs there. We'll take a look at these pictures up closer. Beautiful hand-painted lampshade. It does say it is a kerosene lamp. So we had the candelabra or candelabra. I never, I never can say that right. Sorry for those of you that get mad at me for my pronunciation. <laughs> Here you can see it looks like little cherubs or angels. It does have the little dangles. And beautiful, beautiful kerosene lamp. They do show that eagle up close as well as those dangles. This one is almost three feet tall. So this is quite a big lamp. And you definitely want to show those measurements for sure. It looked like one of those dangles was missing. But this one was a great sale at $499. With this one, we are on our final three. I'm not saying top three, because almost all of these were right at that $500 price point. This is a vintage pair of Tommy Parzinger style Torcher floor lamps, Greek key brass. These two sold for $499 plus $300 in shipping. Look. Be careful when you're taking a picture. Look, we can see his phone and we can see the reflection of his house. Looks like maybe there's a kitty cat down there. So be careful of reflections when you're taking pictures. There is the base of this lamp. This one has quite a bit of wear to these and this pair still sold for $499.
Then we have this Baldwin brass vintage solid forged brass double pull floor lamp. So another floor lamp. It does say display with shade. This one also sold for $499. This one had $443 in shipping, which is absolutely crazy. If you do not know, the cost of shipping has went up immensely. This one might be cheaper to have freighted that like this buyers and or the sellers in Delaware. So to me in Florida, they probably could have got this lamp delivered on freight through U ship for about 200 to 250. So definitely something to consider if you're wanting to sell lamps. Here you can see that shade from the top as well as the finial and without the shade. So here you can see this one is clearly marked Baldwin. So this is one that would be easily identified. I do believe this is on the bottom of the lamp on that placard. And this one was a great, great sale at $499. All right, our final one, and I think it's one of my favorites. I think this is so cool with the red, yellow, and blue. This is a triennial floor lamp, vintage mid-century retro, multi-arm. It does say delightful Lely. This one sold for US $498 as well as the $498 international shipping. So this one is super cool. Look at those colors and looks like those three arms are adjustable. So here they are showing the Sinatra floor lamp by Delightful. And it looks like it was $2,700 and or 2,736 $2, pounds. So actually close to I think 35 or $4,000 US. Here you can see they are showing up close of those shades. This is just a really, really neat lamp. And I'm not sure if this one is just made to look retro because on that website it said vintage style. So this one might be a newer one. If anybody knows, definitely let us know down in the comments. But keep your eye out for those lamps that look different and kind of stand out to you. All right, that is the end. I hope you have enjoyed. If I look a little pink, we went out on the boat today for Easter. We got to see tons of manatees. One baby one kept swimming all around us. He was actually rubbing his back on our floats. And I'll pop at least some pictures up for you of him coming out of the water. He looked like he was trying to kiss Brooke when she was on her float. And he followed her for probably 30 minutes to an hour. It was a little baby. Super, super cute. And if I can, I will put up some video as well. I hope you have had a wonderful, wonderful Easter as well as weekend. I look forward to seeing you Tuesday night on my live. We will have Drew from Profit Monsters as well as Dalton dealing with Dalton. Not my Dalton, but a grown-up Dalton. And it should be a really, really great show. We are live with our podcast every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. And I will have my membership calendar out for those of you who are in the paid membership of the additional lives we will be doing in April, either tonight or tomorrow. So thank you all that are in my membership. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will see you on the next one.